He does exactly what I do. Yeah, but just better. This is a conversation between the 2170 battery and Tesla. As Tesla has finally decided to dump his longtime girlfriend and move on to the next one, 2170, your era is over. The battery is the only thing that makes the EV a usable. It, it determines everything, the weight, the range, and even the car's budget. EV is like mostly batteries and motors. So if we could improve the battery, then we could actually improve the car. The biggest problem in the production of electric vehicles is the battery. Making a battery for an electric vehicle is super time consuming, and, and the manufacturers might not be able to keep up with Tesla's plan of expansion. But Tesla is always able to find a solution for their problems, and yep, they did it again. The solution is 4680 batteries. Tesla, a company that has proved itself numerous times on numerous occasions, started an entire new era, an era of autonomous electric vehicles. Their competitors are still wondering how they can make the most of their electric cars. This company is single-handedly ruling the field. Their autonomous vehicles are safe, and as they are electric, they're pretty environmentally friendly. No one considers this company a mere outsider now. They consider it as a serious competition that's going to cost them a lot of business. Tesla has a market capitalization of $1 trillion, which is almost scratching how much debt we have as a, a nation. And they, and they plan to double their sales every year. In the year 2020, they sold over 325,000 cars, and they want to double their business every year. They had to sell at least 750,000 vehicles in 2021, but in 2021, they actually outperformed themselves. They sold a million cars in 2021, so for this year, they gotta sell two million cars if they want to stay on track. So, yeah, that's the, that's, that's the problem with setting up exponential goals. <laughs> From the beginning of its day, Tesla has been buying batteries from the manufacturers, and it has been going well. Still, it takes some time to produce batteries. Tesla realized that this supply chain could cause some heavy losses in the future, as there could be a time when the whole car is ready, but they can't ship it because there's no battery in it. In this case, they would have to wait for new batteries to arrive, which is just going to slow down the entire process, and keep Tesla Model 3s out of the hands of loving investors. The main problem was that the battery production companies wouldn't be able to keep up with the rapid growth ambition of Tesla. This is where Tesla started thinking, and hey, they come up with the Tabless 4680 battery. Now, making a battery is a complex process that includes a lot of physics and chemistry and maybe a little bit of math, but I will try my best to give you guys a general idea. A standard lithium-ion battery uses cells made up of several layers, such as copper, graphite, a separator, electrolyte, NCA, and aluminum. These layers are the cathode and anode, and they have a separator layer in between. The cathode and anode layer connect to the positive and negative terminals of the battery using a small metallic component known as a tab. The problem with tabs is that they could cause the entire battery to fail. They can affect the battery performance and reliability if they're placed wrong. If there's even a slight error in installing these tabs, the entire battery could fail. When they are welded into the cathode and anode, and if they pierce into the layer between them, they could cause an internal short circuit. And this could cause fire. Also, installing the separator layer between the cathode and the anode is a time-consuming process. And it, it makes battery production a long process as well. Actually, explaining that wasn't too bad. I, I thought that would be a disaster because I'm not the best at chemistry, but hey! Turns out, when you think about it ahead of time and write stuff down, you can read them real good off of paper. <laughs> now, to reduce this whole process, what Tesla did, they created a conductive portion that runs along with the whole cylinder. Using this method, there would be less distance for the electrode to travel before reaching the positive and negative terminal. This is the first time that someone had used something like this. I, I, I mean, something that is completely different from the standard design, and surprisingly enough, it works like a charm. This is what the company does. They take problems, they sit and they think about them, and they come up with a unique solution that people think is virtually impossible. And they somehow make it work perfectly, so go figure. And what the whole world does is sit around and watch them accomplish the impossible. With this simple implementation, Tesla changed the entire thing, and the battery, and also the whole battery manufacturing process. So, what did they make by gaining this, or what did they gain by making this new battery? English. They improved everything that there is to improve about a battery. The efficiency, capacity, production cost. They also reduced just general time taken. The biggest thing is that even before announcing this battery, Tesla was already working on making them. By removing a time-consuming process, they made it pretty easy to produce the 4680 batteries. In this, 46 is the diameter of the battery, which is 46 millimeters, and 80 is the height. Which you would have guessed, it's, it's 80 millimeters. No, it's 80 feet! And now you can have an idea of how big these batteries are. And, and that's not it, they even carry more charge in them. 
there is way more active battery material in them, which will help Tesla store more charge in it. And, and the cars could travel even more on just one charge. According to Tesla, these new batteries will help to increase 16% more charge over the same pack. But that, that's not even it. Tesla did give uh, just, just an innovative design and, and more energy. They also changed the inside material of the battery. At, at first, they were using silicon and charged with lithium, but then they switched to just using silicon. Or silicone, whatever, I think there's two pronunciations. Yeah, I noticed that it always distracts people whenever I pronounce things wrong, so I just try and cover my bases, you know? Anyways. This is something that only a physicist could explain adequately. Still, I, I will tell you whatever little I actually know about it and have managed to research. By removing lithium, you could actually store more silicone inside the battery, and then it would hold up more charge than it did before. It could also cut down the manufacturing cost of the battery as silicon is cheaper and readily available, so that cuts about 5% of the cost, which it makes the whole process significantly less time consuming. So more batteries could be made in a small amount of time. They also charge their cathode batteries these days using uh, cobalt as the cathode, but the supply of cobalt is pretty limited. Most of it comes from the Republic of Congo in Africa, and it is a dang arduous process mining them. If any internal affair happens over there and it disrupts the usual mining process, they could face a shortage of cobalt in their factories. Because this is a huge possibility, Tesla switched to nickel. Yeah, they're using nickels as cathodes. Not only did this cut down on the cost a little, there's no problem with the supply of nickel. And not only that, but the manufacturing process also became a lot easier, and it generates less waste and uses less water. Better in every way, so it's kind of funny that we were using cobalt. Also, it, it makes it easy to design a recycling process for the battery. See, Tesla cares about the environment. In your face, environmentalists! Uh, no offense. With this new tablet design, they also improve the thermal capabilities, which means that it actually won't get heated as easily, and which would help in faster changing and late discharge. The battery was shown in 2020 Battery Day, and since then it has been all over the news. In recent times, Panasonic also revealed that the version of their 4680 batteries. Now, let me tell you that this company is one of Tesla's oldest battery partners. Panasonic also said that they solved the technological challenge that was presented by the large cell, which they plan to deploy a prototype line for. It's also said that Panasonic would build these 4680 batteries for Tesla, but alongside that, they would also supply batteries to American electric startup Canoe. This battery would power the lifestyle vehicle that Canoe predicts will begin production at the end of 2022. Canoe said that they chose Panasonic batteries. It is yet to be confirmed whether it is a 4680 battery or just some other battery. Canoe is claiming a range of 250 miles from an 80 kilowatt per hour battery, with the base panel version starting at $34,750. Not too terrible, if I do say so myself. According to the reports, the first vehicle with these 4680 batteries will be seen in 2022, and some experts believe that this battery will be the key to making electric cars actually more affordable and, and realistic to own. If you know, then once in an interview, Elon Musk said that they want to make a car that would be more affordable. This car would cost around 25 grand. But as the making of a battery is actually unfortunately expensive and a time consuming process, no one thought this would even be possible. I, I, I mean, most of the cost in an electric car is just the battery and the expensive ass battery used inside them to boot. But with this new battery, which is cheaper and much better than the previous one, this $25,000 car can actually become a reality. This battery is going to change the entire process, and it's going to be a big deal for Tesla. And because of this, they would be able to stay loyal to their commitment of doubling their business every year. The cost-effective battery is going to shape the future of electric vehicles. And that's the uh, end of my positive message for you guys today. So, later.